go. Hi, we're Team 7, and we're working on real-time instant segmentation with Mascar CNM in order to empower autonomous driving decision making. We based our model on the current state of the art, which is based on several technologies that are combined together in order to create a nice result that is highly reliable in a variety of different driving scenarios. However, this provides for a very expensive vehicle technology. We wanted to create a lightweight and very simplistic technology using only camera imaging. Using camera imaging, we informed several design requirements in order to create a robust image identification. We used real-time instance predictions. We used accurate and detailed instance segmentation in order to inform our predictions. And then we minimized training complexity through transfer learning. In order to accomplish this task, we went through mask RCNN architecture, primarily because it is easy to understand and easy to implement. Moreover, most of the people have implemented this and I showed excellent results. It has good uh, results and explanation for transfer learning available easily. Mask RCNN is a instance segmentation algorithm, meaning that it provides individual instances for each class that it encounters in an image. It is composed of three layers, the convolutional backbone, which extracts features from the images, and RPN and ROI layers, which generate the bounding boxes and the regions of interest that are then classified. The head layers contain the classification layer, box regression layers, and the mask branch, which generates binary masks that contains the spatial information in an image the spatial information for an instance. Data is crucial for deep learning applications. As we were interested in getting bounding boxes along with the probabilities, uh, along with the instance-based mask, we went through Cityscape dataset for this training process. Our data set was made up of training validation and testing with split shown over to the left. These were nicely split along city size, geographic distribution, and the season taken during the recording in order to provide a more equitable training set and a more even split. Although there was some bias in the class distribution, you can see that we were able to make fairly robust image predictions with this data set. Our hyperparameter selection is shown below. We based our initial predictions using a hyperparameter selection set mostly based on the paper by Kay He written in 2018. Our selected hyperparameters only varied within some simplistic ones such as learning rate and the learning rate schedule. We also added additional data augmentation. We selected our hyperparameters by performing a series of experiments on the learning rate, the image dimensions, and what stage of the network we trained. We trained the head, net, the head layers with and without augmentation at a learning rate of 0.005, the resonance stage fours, uh, with and without augmentation at 0 0.001 with the varying resolutions. Our model had final pipeline something like this, where we used pre-trained uh, cocoa weights on ResNet architecture, and we just trained the heads for the network. After that, uh, getting some decent results, we trained network heads, and along with that, on the top of that, we trained ResNet stages, that is 4+. Plus. And then finally, we evaluated MFP on the test set and predicted our results which were considerably, considerably better in terms of MAP scores. Here you can see that uh, we have uh, plots for training and validation losses for both training heads and training ResNet stage 4 plus. Uh, it is pretty evident that training uh, ResNet stage 4 plus gives much more reduction in the loss as compared to the heads. So for the final model, we settled on training for 20 epochs on heads at 0 .05, 0 0.005 learning rate with data augmentation and 20 epochs on layers 4 plus on ResNet with learning rate 0 0.001. So for the final results, we, ended up, we took pictures of the cities that we are currently in and processed them through our machine learning network. As you can see, the images are very well segmented. It even picks out those three people that are right next to each other, which is awesome. On the right, you can see a video demonstrating our results in real time. So these are the results from the, experience, from the experiments previously described. The head layers with data augmentation provided the best results, and the four plus layers without augmentation provided the best provided results by the BS with the best results. And in the final two uh, rows, you can see the 
final performance of our models at the different at its different stages. Uh, conclusions, uh, training heads and four plus layers of the ResNet architecture for 20K updates, that is 20 epochs uh, per steps of 1000 resulted in MVP of 0 0.315, which is pretty good as compared to 0 0.5 when people train for lots of epochs like 70 to 80 epochs. Uh, we trained the networks with augmentation, without augmentation, and we had really good results with augmentation. Uh, we had used RMFS to store our data sets, which reduced our training time by 2.3 times, limit, uh, giving us much more better time for training the results. Predictions are clearly show, shows bias towards a new and class representation, which can be easily improved by using class-based loss weighting in training the model. We recommend for future researchers to look through simplistic models such as ours, but to combine them using ensemble learning to do more elaborate tasks such as gesture recognition from drivers ahead of them, communicating with pedestrians, and also working with city planners to make more accessible architecture to facilitate the adoption of self-driving car technology such as ours. In addition, data set diversification might play an important role in making better predictions in the future and in ensuring that this technology is equitably accessible to everybody in society. Thank you.